Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. John has to make up a lesson this week. I wonder if he's up for it. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about phrasal verbs, so stay tuned. Great, in this lesson we're going to talk about an exciting topic, that is phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are very important in English. Why? Because we use them every day. We use them informally. So what do I mean by formally? By, uh, for example, talking to someone or by typing an email to a friend. We use them every day. A phrasal verb is a, a, a two or more words put together to create a new meaning. The second point that I wrote about uh, phrasal verbs is they are used mostly in informal contests, as opposed to Latinate verbs. They are verbs that have a Latin root. For example, put off. Put off is the same as postpone or let down, uh, as opposed to disappoint and make over, which is renovate, another uh, if you want to say renovate is more formal. The third point that I want to mention is that th there can be verb plus adverb. The examples here are set off, which means leave, keep on, which means persist, sit down, <laughs> obviously you know what it means, and the last one, catch on, be accepted. Now, uh, there also can be verb plus preposition, for example, look after, and it means to take care, or come across, find by chance. And the last one can be verb plus adverb plus preposition, look forward to, it means can't wait for, or come up against, encounter, and the last one, put up with, tolerate. I can't put up with this teacher. He gives me the creeps. <laughs> I'm joking. So, also, phrasal verbs can be separable, inseparable, or both. Separable phrasal verbs are the ones that you can separate, actually. For example, ask somebody out. This means to invite on a date. For example, I asked Mary out last night. So, in this case, we separate the phrasal verb. Ask Mary somebody out. Inseparable phrasal verbs are the ones that you can't separate. For example, get together. Get together or look after, right here, always stay the same. For example, let's get together tomorrow. You cannot say, let's get tomorrow together. No, let's get together tomorrow. Both, separable and inseparable. What do I mean by this? You will see it in a second. Take off. The plane took off at 5 p.m. And this is one meaning. Now, if I separate the uh, take off, take something off, it means something else. For example, she took her t-shirt off. She took her t-shirt off. Another example, call in. So in this case we have together, so inseparable, he called in early this morning. This means communicate by phone. Or if we want to separate it, I need to call a specialist in, someone for assistance. Now, uh, a very important phrasal or phrasal verbs that you can find are the ones that have get. And there is a special lesson on get. If you click here, you can watch that lesson. So, get by itself means a lot of things like fetch, arrive, buy, etc. If you add an adjective, it takes the form of a reflexive. For example, get married, get thirsty, get wet, etc. If you add a particle, a particle can be a preposition or an adverb, it becomes a phrasal verb. So it changes uh, completely the meaning. 
For example, get away, it means to escape. Or get back, it means to recover, to retrieve. Or get by, survive financially. I also mentioned get together, etc. So most importantly, how do we learn phrasal verbs? Well, by writing a sentence of your own, for example, or by reading, or by watching a movie. <laughs> Obviously, you need to be immersed in the language. So not just, you know, I'm telling you this, but write an example of your own and then maybe uh, have a teacher or someone who knows English correct it. If you wish, you can write your own example under this video and I will correct it, okay? So now let's recap. In this video, we talked about phrasal verbs. What are they? There are two or more words put together to create a new meaning. There can be separable, inseparable, or both. They're actually used in everyday English informally, when talking to a friend or when writing an email to a friend, etc. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, if you have comments, or if you want to post your own example of a phrasal verb, you may do so under this video. Please, if you like the video, share it with your friends. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. Next week, you'll get a new lesson. Have a great day and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.